Before we get started, I just wanted to remind everyone that I will be showcasing the birthday cards that you send me for my 66th birthday this month. I will be doing that video at the end of June. So if you would like to send me a card, just leave me a comment and I will make sure that you get my address. Thanks so much that for those that have already sent cards. Well, hello, paper crafters. Thank you for joining me today at my YouTube channel, Wanette's Paper Crafts. In today's video tutorial, we are going to be making a card that is either called a TP card or it can also be called a triangle fold card. And as you can see, it fits nicely into our standard envelope and it is able to fold into like a teepee or a triangle. This one says, life's a beautiful journey. Thank you for being part of mine. And then it's got this beautiful globe on the front of it. And then like I said, all you have to do is undo the Velcro dot and it will fit nicely into our standard envelope. Here's another one I made. I just think these are fantastic and they're very easy to make. So in today's tutorial, this is the one we're going to be making, and it is a birthday card, but it is the same dimensions. This is where you would write your little note to your recipient. The Velcro dot is there and there. As a display for somebody, there's happy birthday. Very cute card. I love it. Now, the inspiration for this card came from a crafter whose YouTube channel is Mixed Up Craft, and her name is Sam. And her card, fantastic card. It is a 5 by 7 card, so quite large. And so because of the bulk of this little rosette, I had to make a box for it to fit into. Let me show you another one real quick that I made. This one, I haven't finished decorating it yet. Right now, all it has is this little umbrella on the front of it and a little embellishment that says, with love. But I wanted to design the card so it would be smaller and be able to fit into our regular size envelope. So that's what I did. So anyway, let's get started on these cards. They are very easy to make and a lot of fun. This is the supplies that you will need to make this card. I'm using the Beautiful World mostly the die set for the happy birthday i'm using posted for you my embossing folder is old world paper 3d embossing folder and the paper i'm using is this beautiful collection look at how gorgeous this is it's all kinds of images of the world. There's a scripty area there. It's gold. Look at this beautiful map there. A compass. Again, a picture of the United States, Canada. So that's what I'm using for the paper. Then some of the supplies you'll need is gold embossing powder, either Versamark ink or Misty Moonlight. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna use an embossed image. This is our new 
lovely labels. Pick a punch. I'm going to be using that for our sentiment. And then this is our pieces. You're going to need a Velcro dot for the sentiment to mat underneath. It needs to be two and a half by one inch. And again, I'm not sure whether to use the gold foil or the misty moonlight cardstock. So when I get to that, I went ahead and gold embossed happy birthday and then also stamped it in the misty moonlight. We'll see which one I pick that we're going to do. And that sentiment measures two by three fourths. Then you're gonna need two pieces of pattern paper. And I've picked this one here with these globes. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Uh, and they measure three and a fourth by three and a fourth. We're gonna cut those down the middle. Then what we're gonna emboss is one piece of one and a fourth by one and a fourth. And then you're gonna need two pieces of three and a half by three and a half. And then the base of our card is three and three fourths by three and three fourths. And I'm using very vanilla. And then I also have a very vanilla envelope. So to start out, let's score our base so that we can create the card. And what I've done here on my mini score buddy is I've made a mark down to three inch and four inch. And that is just so when I lay this piece of cardstock, that again is three and a fourth by three and a fourth. When I lay it in here, I make sure that I score in the correct area. So I'm gonna put this point right there where that black line is, then bring this one over so that it's in the same groove. And before I score, I make sure they're both lined up. Then I'm gonna take my score, scoring tool and go right down the middle. And I'm gonna do that on all three pieces. Then I'm gonna fold and burnish each one of these. So what I do is I kind of start them, then I make sure that they're point to point, then I lay it down and bring in my bone folder just to make sure that they meet up nicely. So again, start it out, but then bring it over point to point. And then we're going to glue these together, which will make our TP like that. So you take your initial one that's folded and you lay it this piece underneath. So then it will fold over like that. And what I like to do is mark where my glue will need to go so I don't put too much down. So I lay it down and then I bring it up ever so slightly and draw a little pencil line. And I know don't put glue past that pencil line. And then I'm gonna do this one on this other side. So again, that will be point to point, but then I bring it up ever so slightly not that I'm gonna glue it there, but just so I don't put too much glue and then I also don't have to erase it. 
So I'm bringing in my Beacons 3-in-1 glue. And I'm going to add some all across here, up this middle part there. And then I'm going to lay it underneath and bring point to point. See right there? Maybe needs to go up just a tiny bit more. And then fold it over to make sure it will fold. Yeah, I think that's good. Sometimes you can't get it exactly, but that's pretty close. And then now we're going to put glue underneath here and then it will also fold over. And what I make sure I do is line them up so that they're even across there and then that can fold over. So then there's my teepee card with a nice little point. And I will use my glue eraser to get rid of that because this is where you're going to write your sentiment. So now I'm going to cut my pieces of three and a half by three and a half. I have two of those and one piece of one and a fourth. And what I do is I lay it in the track of my cutter and it's almost like when I am when I scored these other pieces here I just lay each point right in the track bring my cutter down and I start midway because if you start on the edge you will tear your paper and then you have two even triangle pieces. I'm gonna do the same thing on this piece and the small piece, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with these two pieces of pattern paper, which were three and a fourth by three and a fourth. So now to emboss these, you will have to figure out what is the best sandwich for your particular die cutting and embossing machine. What I do with mine is I write on my piece of paper that I keep in my little folder here what I need to make a good impression. So on this one I have that I need a bottom plate, then my metal and magnetic sham both, then the folder, and then my plastic. So what I do is I lay my cardstock right here into my embossing folder, along with these two small little pieces and then lay my plastic piece over it and run it through my die cutting machine. Let's see there, they come out really nice, nicely embossed, looks like old paper. And then I've also gone ahead and die cut out a world piece of the globe and some other decorative things 
from the world map dies out of those. So now it's just a matter of putting your card together. So our first layer is going to be this layer on top of the very vanilla and that will go on all four sides. Now, if you would like, you could leave one of the sides empty so that you could write your sentiment right on the back of the card. So as it's gonna be glued, that was dumb to do that, as it's glued, you could write your sentiment right here, but I like decorating each side and then I can write my sentiment or my message to the recipient on the inside. So let me glue all of these down, these layers and these layers also. Now, as I'm looking on how I want to decorate this, this will go around here like this and this will set on the edge. However, I think it needs a backing. So what I'm going to do is cut out a piece using this circular die out of the Misty Moonlight. Oh yeah, that makes it stand out nicely. That's perfect. I like that. Okay, now that I have these mats on, I also added these little embellishments here and these were from a paper pumpkin kit some time back and when I don't use all of my supplies for a specific kit I just take like because it's gold I will take it and put it in my scrap pack with all of my gold foil and there may be another time just like now that I'm able to use it so those were those there. Now, when you want to go and adhere your Velcro dot, what you need to do is think about which area you want the front of your card to be. And because this is seamless here, I want that to be the front of my card. So what I wanna do is fold it this way as opposed to folding it this way. Do you see? If I fold it this way and put Velcro dot there, you're gonna see that line. But if I fold it this way and make that the front of the card, you're not gonna see that. So what I need to do is put my Velcro dot underneath here and I bought these off of Amazon and all you have to do is take off the backing to it. And again, make sure you're doing it the right way. Then take off the other backing to expose the other sticky side and then bring your card all the way over so that those two lines, this line and that score line meet so you have a nice tight fit and then fold it close and then press and then when you lift your velcro off it will be on there nicely and i just then pull it off and um, stick it down so that's the front of our card then I went ahead and adhered my globe to the back of that piece of misty moonlight. And I'm gonna stick that over here so that it kind of hangs off. Now let me show you, when you put this in your envelope, you are gonna put it in your envelope like that. It will slide in like this. See, fits perfectly. So anything that you kind of hang over on this side, it's gonna be okay, cause it will fit in the envelope. So 
if you close it, I can have something hanging off. Again, let me just show you. That's the way it's gonna go in the envelope. So I can glue that here and have it hang off there. So I'm gonna glue it right there. And I only want part of it. So I'm gonna kind of just look at it and kind of put my finger right where I want the glue and I only want part of it to hang off. So I can add glue all right in here. Perfect. And then I'm gonna add the bottom of my globe there. And I'm gonna put it on fast speed now, add a little music, finish decorating it, and I'll get back with you in just a minute. have a bunch of stamps that I've ordered that say handmade by Wynette, created by Wynette, five of them. And then I say which one of my punches work with this. So I'm going to use this and the one and three fourths inch circle works with that. And I stamped it in misty moonlight. So here's my one and three fourths circle punch. Just going to line that up. And then glue that somewhere. I think just right there is good enough. I 
think I want to put a couple of little other embellishments on it. Some of our metallic pearls, like right down here. Let's see if there's anything else I want that will dry clear. So as I finish embellishing this card, I would like to take a moment to thank each and every one of you for watching this tutorial. The birthday cards are starting to come in. I recently got one from the Netherlands, which was very exciting. And like I said, at the end of the month, I will be showcasing all of your cards. Goodbye for now.